Hi everybody, it's uh, Donna again. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I wanted to share with you a couple projects I was working on. And this one here is a tag. I wanted to try a new technique out. I saw it on, uh, I think it's Tracy Loves to Scrap. She was using that aluminum tape to wrap your dryer vent tape with, I guess. But I, co I covered a chipboard piece and then I uh, embossed it with the Sizzix embossing folder and uh, there's the back of it. I trimmed the edge with one of Tim Holtz uh, Sizzix dies. I don't know if it's Sizzix or not but it's Tim Holtz's dies. But anyway I cut the uh, bird out with a Sizzix die. Um, made this, there's one of those flowers I did a tutorial on this morning. How pretty they look on your projects. And, and one of those little spiral roses also. <clears throat> um, I colored the, the background with Lindy's um, some sprays and uh, Magical Micah's little touch of the blue here and there. But they they work really good for this kind of a technique here. Uh, there's a Recollections um, trim. The little bird has a little crown I stamped and then cut out and put stickles on it. And um, let's see, lace. I bought the lace at Joann's, and uh, I think that's all about this one. Those feathers are real pretty, they're green, they match the uh, tag real well. So that's the tag I was trying out, and then I wanted to show you a card I made. This goes to my sister for her birthday. Uh, it's a uh, Martha Stewart punch in the background with some pearls and that stamp I bought I think it was Mike from Michaels it was a hydrangea stamp with the leaves on it and I used the magical micas on there too and put the centers in with the stickers or stickles it's not stickers I'm sorry and um, that's the card this goes to my sister for her birthday and a happy birthday I stamped on a piece of vellum I like this look when you just leave that loose like you know guys like that. so that works out for me and this is her present I got I did for her I went to the thrift store and I found this old condensed reader's digest condensed book and somebody already had it made into a book with different front you know covers in it and I wanted to alter it in the vintage, vintage uh, style that she likes. And this is what I did to it. <clears throat> There's a um, one of those spiral roses with uh, satin leaf I made. Some um, pearls. But they work really good on your projects. There's a big uh, hat pin in here. It's cute. I don't even know where I got that. I think it was an estate sale. Or maybe somebody gave this to me. I'm not sure. The tags are uh, from Leone. We had a little tag swap a while back, and she sent me a whole a whole bunch of the tags already stamped. And I just stamped some sayings on the back. I, I like the sayings. So that was that one, and there's another one. And this tag she had stamped. That's really pretty. There's another one she stamped. And the back on that. And this here is a um, Scrabble piece I painted with a black magic marker and edged with some gold, a gold pen. Here's another one of those little spiral roses. I've really been into making those lately. Um, there's her initials. I had some uh, 3D stickers, C C R H. And I put that on a piece of, um, it was a little 4x4 packet I got from Carleen um, Webster's Pages. And I just folded the end down and folded it back up again. Put some old trim on I had. And this is an old page from an old dictionary. Very old dictionary. And some lace from um, Recollections. And a little dangle. I have a little hand charm. 
This is a little charm from a charm swap I was in with uh, Cindy, I think MS, a while back. There's another big, big charm. I didn't make that. I found that somewhere. And here's the second page. Um, I covered in the background with the old paper. I ran this old chain up around here. And there's that pink flower I showed earlier in my video today with an old earring behind it. This is, has like a black onyx earring and I just covered it up with the, my flower. And uh, there's some more little tiny wee flowers I made out of silk ribbon. Very, very tiny. But they're so cute and kind of easy to make. And this was a stamp from Michael's. And she has a big feather coming out of her head. And my flourish, I like to use those with the pearls in them. And I think that's all on this one. But that's going to be a birthday gift for her, which she's going to get Sunday. So, I hope you like this video, and I wish everybody a very happy Easter. And we'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.